So it's official. I signed up for Raw Nationals, went through the process. It's actually a, a pretty long sign up form. Normally for like most meets, it's, I mean, obviously just basic information, put down what, uh, what weight class, what division. Boom, boom, boom. Takes you about five minutes and you're done. But with this one, a little bit more extensive. Obviously, you got to go through, um, you know, because you got to qualify for Raw Nationals. So you, there's a section in there where you got to put in the meet you qualified at. You got to go find, um, like, the sanction number. You got to find the link with the results. Um, it's not a big. It's not a big deal. It just takes. It's like a little extra step. They also had a section on there to put. Uh, a little bit of information, like a little bit of a bio. So you gotta do that. Um, of course, pay costs money. Uh, that's about it. Probably took me about probably 10, 15 minutes. But then again, I had to kind of think about what I was gonna put for certain things, and I got interrupted. But yeah, about 15 minutes to do it. All signed up, officially signed up. So I got that taken care of. Getting my pre-workout all situated. Fruit Punch, G Fuel, Pop-Tart, I'm still on that, hashtag pre-workout Pop-Tart game.
got to the gym, and on my way here, I was kind of thinking about something that I wanted to talk about. Last night was the CrossFit Games Finals. Today's Monday, so yesterday, Sunday, last night. And I always enjoy watching the finals. Um, actually, I enjoy watching any, you know, CrossFit footage when it's on TV. I mean, come on, guys. It's fitness on ESPN. You, you know, regardless of what you think of CrossFit uh, as a training modality, you got to understand that, you know, how often do we get to watch fitness, you know, see barbells on TV. So I, I try to take advantage of that. And uh, so anyway, I'm watching it, and Matt Fraser won. He he took second the last two years. He took second to Rich Froning in 2014, then last year he took second to Ben Smith. So he's taken second in the CrossFit Games the last two years. And then this year he absolutely fucking dominated. Just wiped the floor with everybody. I mean, just... They had 15 events, and if, you, if you're familiar with it, I mean, there's a wide range of events. And he only took out of the top, t out of the top 10 once out of those 15 events. And we're talking, like, trail runs, swims, a max deadlift, uh, you know, Olympic lifts, uh, field events, sprints, stuff like that. He only took out of the top 10 in one event. So he dominated. Dominated. I think he won by the most, uh, for the widest margin ever. So, his performance was unreal. I guess that's that's the point I'm trying to get across. His, his performance was really good. But he's taken second the last two years. So, his performance was, like, at the elite, the most elite level. You know, at the top two in the world. And this year, he raised, you know, he got up to number one. But not only number one, he surpassed it and just went far and above what he was last year. And when asked what the difference was... He he only he just said he, he took his training more serious, and that hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks last night. It just I don't know. It like sparked something in me that uh, it really hit home. And I guess I guess sometimes it's easy to forget. You know, we get we get so caught up in our our training routines and you know our hashtag crushing it on Instagram and showing everybody how hard we're working and how good we're eating and 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 all this and that and we think in myself included you know at, at times myself included we think we're doing you know everything we could to be the best and then you hear someone like you know Matt Frazier who took second in the CrossFit Games the last two years say he you know took his training to a whole nother level and not only saying that he didn't just you know say that because everyone fucking I hear that everyone says stuff like that oh I took my training more seriously I'm, I'm doing this doing that but then where are the results this is someone who, who I mean he says he took his training more seriously and it shows I mean he didn't just he didn't just win and he you know leaps and abounds he, he got so much better so I think we, that's something we can learn all of us can learn if someone who took second in the CrossFit game, second fittest man in the world, can take his training more seriously and make that much improvement, then I think we could. There's areas in our life, in our training, in our nutrition, that we can get better at. There's, there is room for improvement. Every single one of us, everybody, everybody can improve. Your form can improve. Your, you know, not just like form and technique, but your, your mindset your routines, your mobility, your commitment, anything. There's so many things that could can be improved, that could improve your performance, that I think we need to start analyzing, self-analyzing ourselves. But be harsh, be, be realistic, be honest. That's that's what I wanted to say. That's that's something that it hit home for me, and hopefully you can you can take something from that. Damn, it's hot out here today. Bottle yet? I'm gonna save some. There's Jess. He's at the YouTube table. It's hot and a bastard out here. Today's my third day, third day benching in a row, and my left pet is telling me that it's my third day benching in a row. It's a little tight. Gonna have to warm it up good. Uh, I got a heavy single to start the, the training session. Last week I did 365. It's looking like that'll probably be what I stick with. I'll probably hit a single at 365 and then five sets of three with 315 for a bench press today. Three sixty 
45 moved pretty well. Uh, about the same as last week. With all things considering, this is the third day of bench in a row, so you know my chest is a little tight. I'll take it. Got the bar got a little bit out in front of me. Uh, you know, even though I feel like my bench form is, is really well, like I talked about in the beginning of the video, there's always room for improvement. You know, one up for a, an easy single and my technique was slightly off. You know, that's why you always, every single rep, warm-ups, heavy weight, working sets, doesn't matter. You want to try to get every single one perfect. So then when you're, you know, in a meet, going for a max effort, going for a PR, you just, you have your, you have, you know, proper form dialed in so well that you just hit it every time. You don't want to be out, you know, out on the platform and have a little bit of a technique flaw. Um, you know, that bench, the bar got slightly out in front of me and I felt it. You know, it still was, was light and easy. It was just, you know, the bar path wasn't optimal. So, all right, dropping it down to 315 for my five sets of three. Here we go. this before but on bench presses like this that are really slick put two bands down to help grip a little bit in the last video I talked about uh, a bench arch and one of the ways to increase your bench arch is just having a bench that allows you to dig your shoulders and your upper trap or lower traps right into the bench and not move so most commercial gyms don't have like competition benches or even benches with uh, the type of material that you can dig your upper tra or lower traps and upper shoulders into. So you just gotta use these bands as, uh, as a way to create a little bit of friction. Easy.